I have a little box of family history. Inside, there's many, many recipes from my grandmother, Mildred Welch, and they're all written on old recipe cards and ink pen, and they're splattered with ingredients from many, many years ago. And I thought for family day, my son and I would create one of these recipes that I've never baked, and they're from 80 years ago. Um, my grandmother, Mildred Welch, was Mildred McDonald, and she grew up with her family in Bellier's Cove, New Brunswick, on the Washtenaw Lake. And uh, she was the second of ten children, and so the first recipe that I am going to do with my son today is from her older sister, Florence Kraft. So, come bake with us. Wait. All right, we're gonna bake our cookies. So the first thing we need to do is put in the butter. Can you put the butter in? Okay. Oh, splat. Kaboom. Kaboom. I'm gonna Kaboom. scrape it all out. Oh, stay right here. And then after we put in our butter, we need to put in brown sugar. Do you know how much? I want you to look at the recipes. It's one and a half cups of brown sugar. One and a half. One and a half. Which makes two. It's not quite two. It's between one and two. Could you hold this for me? And I'm going to fill it with brown sugar. So you hold it for me. It really doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? One. One and a half? Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll test it out. This looks like when I was making... How much cookie. is that one? One. Okay, so you put that one in. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use the smaller one. And we're going to put one of these in. So now we have one and a half. And then we're finished with the brown sugar. Uh, Mom, that did not break. It didn't? Would you stir it together for me so that it gets all mixed in? This will break it. Do you think so? Kaboom! It broke. I broke the butter. You Just are, glass. yeah. Stir it all up. Okay. Oh, it looks like banana soup. Banana soup? Yeah. I don't think that would be very tasty. Banana soup tasted like bananas. Do you think so? Yeah. I'm going to get the oatmeal ready while you do that. The oatmeal? Yes. Because we need one and a quarter cups of oatmeal. One? One and a quarter. So it's one okay. big one and one little one. You keep stirring it because we need it really stirred up. Oh, you're doing a good job. My hand is getting tired. Would you like me to do it for a little bit? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll try to blend it all together. You get tired? Let me see your muscles. Mom? Oh yeah, they're getting strong if you keep stirring it. Do you want to stir it or do you want to put in the oatmeal? Which one? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Oatmeal here. This is go. one. And here's another. Which is lots. Of That's just a little one. And then I'm going to have you stir that all together. That is a lot. It is a lot. Do you want me to hold the bowl? Does it smell good? It smells like ink and beans. Ink and beans. I don't know that I know what that smells like. <laughs> it's 
smells like a dumpster. A dumpster? Yuck. Because it has dew in it. Well, I'm going to put in some cream of tartar. Hey. That is one teaspoon. And you stir it all around. And I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda? Mm-hmm. It smells like banana blueberries. Banana blueberries? But there's no banana, there's no blueberries in here. It should taste, it should smell like sugar and butter. It doesn't smell like butter and... All right, we need some flour. Would you hold this for me while I put yeah. the flour in it? Now don't dump it in yet. We need to fill that. How much do we need? We're going to need one and a half cups. So you put all that in. Dusty. It is flowery. And then half a cup. Half a cup. What do you think they're going to taste like? Now, this recipe was from your great-grandmother, Grampy Welch's mommy, and she got it from her sister, Florence. Okay. Come on over here, I don't want you to fall. I didn't fall. I know. Do you want to stir it, or should I stir it? I want to. You want to? Yep. All right, there you go. You stir it, because we only have one more ingredient. Cut it up so it does not go anywhere. Okay, yes. Yeah. Hold it tightly so that it doesn't go anywhere. We're going to put some coconut in. Like coconut? Coconut. And we're going to put in one cup of coconut. Do you know real coconuts are hard to eat? How come? Because the coconut milk is not hard, but the brown part is hard. Oh, they're hard to open? Yeah, and eat. Have you ever had one before? No. So I don't know that I've ever bought a real coconut like that for a long, long time. Like, Oopsies. they can grow on trees. They do grow on trees, that's what they do. They can also grow on beech trees. Beech trees? Yeah. Do you want to put those in? You mean like a palm tree or a coconut tree? Coconut tree. Coconut tree. We don't have them around here. I mean at a beech tree. All right, we need to stir, stir, stir it up. So it can mix up. It needs to get mixed. Oh, that one looks like a donut. You think so? Like Daddy's donuts? Yeah. Tightly. You're holding on tightly? Mm-hmm. All right. What do we need next? The next thing we just need to do is we need to make shake them into little cookies. Do you know what our recipe says? It says, make into little patties and bake. But we don't know how long it's baking. <laughs> so we're going to make our cookies. So we'll dig, it with, we'll dig into it with a, with a spoon. And then with our smaller spoon, we'll push it off just like that. Okay, this is my small spoon. Yes. That's perfect. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's going to be the biggest cookie. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now, Jonathan, can you tell can you tell everybody what we added? Because when we made the dough, we thought, this is not going to work. So we added a little bit of something. What did we add? Nuts. Not nuts. We added a little bit of milk. N milk? A little bit of milk. Try to stick it all together. Up, uh, Mom. That is ginormous. I think that one's too big. It's way too big. We're going to have to make that a little bit smaller, I think. It looks great. You think so? It looks great. Hmm? Is that one going to be yours? Yeah, I have a lot. Oh, those 
wow. Those ones love each other. Is that why they're so close? Yeah. What if they stick together? No. Yeah. I want to make my own cookies. These are good cookies, but I love these cookies. Is that one going to be yours or the big one is going to be yours? I really want to eat the big one. Do you? Yep. All right, I think that one's all full. And I think we should divide that one. What do you say? No? We're going to try to bake these ones. I think the big one is going to be too big to bake. I want it. You want it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, how did I get there? And how did that get there? Oh, that's where well, we're going to put it in the oven. Banana. Banana? Why don't you put those in? We're going to try to bake these. Very few of my grandmother's recipes have temperatures or times written on the recipe cards. So you bake them till they're done. I started this one at 350 and they've been in for about eight minutes, so I'm gonna check on them. Looks like the little ones are done, but the big one's gonna take another minute. oatmeal cookie recipe that Jonathan and I tried today does not have a time or a temperature listed like most of the recipes in this box. You just need to bake them until they're done. We baked these at 350 degrees for about eight minutes. We kept checking them to make sure. We were pretty happy with the results. Thanks so much for baking with us today. <laughs> Take a big bite.